Coach, what do you have to say about the team's response today from coming off of Tuesday's disappointment? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we showed up. The vibe was good. The energy was good. There, to be fair, there was a lot of reflection you know, early in the week, and as the week went on, you could feel the vibe. And also, it helps that we got some more players in, right? Some of our guys that we know are going to be key players got more minutes, right? So. And can you expand a little bit on the reflection that you mentioned there? You know, what do you think, what, what kind of things did you and the team kind of work through these past few days? If you can share? Well, it was just like, you know, we felt like there was a lot of um, players Look, we're trying to develop an elite mentality, and that takes time, right? Because this league is good. This league is it's built much like um, MLS, where it's, there's parity. There won't be any easy games. And for where some of the players have played in the past, right? The guys that are returning, right? In the last two years that have been with me, right? We, we had some games that we, we ran away with on a significant number of those games, right? Or even if we won those games 1-0, 2-1, we were still completely in control of the game. Whereas... You know, one nil doesn't feel safe here. Two nil doesn't feel safe here. So you, you have to take that next level, and that's something that we talked about a lot. First half was, was pretty tight. You know, they denied a lot of space in the middle, and it was difficult to play through. But what happened in the second half? How, how, did, how did you open up the floodgates today? Well, we just made some adjustments how we press, right? Because we, you know, Medi playing more minutes, um, Taylor getting, getting a few more minutes. You know, Jalen getting his real first start, right? So, you know, the way we press with our front guys, we, we, because they're so new, they haven't, haven't been able to orchestrate it as much as we would like because it is orchestration, it's coordination, right? It's like dancing. And you just don't show up and get a dance partner and dance, right? So it's really important for us. And if, that's, if that, those timings and coordinations off, it makes it difficult to do what we want to do. And so we just got to keep working at that. And then we made some few adjustments in the... Um, few adjustments in the, at the halftime to, you know, make it tougher for them, and it, it paid off. You mentioned Jalen and, and Mehdi there, so also Devon's first first full start. Yeah. So can you just, what else can you say about how he played today? Devon? Yeah, look, I mean, Devon's here because he's a good player. Mehdi's here because he's a good player. Jalen's here because he's a good player. And I try to really influence the guys to really believe in themselves that, look, before you met me, you were already a good player. I'm just asking you to come in and, and fit into what we're doing, and you know, I'm I'm pleased, you know, I'm pleased, but never satisfied about where they, where they are, you know, and what they did today. But we, we still a lot of work ahead. And I don't know if there's any update you can give us on Duvon there at the end. Uh, just cramps. Just cramps. Okay. Just cramps. Yeah. Well, but I mean, it was, it, we it was nothing that we didn't expect, right? We didn't want to we didn't want him to play that long, but the game was kind of dictating because we have to manage other guys because we had. We had several guys that were on, on one, two, three, four, five, five guys on um, minute restrictions. So when you got five guys on minute restrictions, you only got five subs in three moments. You know, those are the things that happened. Can you talk a little bit about how this test differed than, than last week? I mean, since he, Cincinnati coming out with the three back, you know, what, what kind of test was this compared to Huntsville? Yeah, I mean, I think, look, what, you know, we're, we're the new boys on the block, right? And what is clear, right, and which I've said, right? I mean, look, when they're developing technical players in the league, right? And that makes it harder because they can just keep the ball and they can do things, right? We have to be able to get our press right so that we can have more of the ball because we're unsatisfied with how much ball we had. So we, we need... We need that to be better. And they had two on the their left side on full MLS. They're full MLS players, right? So, what kind of test was that for Milo and, and Jalen in particular? And how how much does that help them? Well, I think it helps them a ton because um, you always want to you always want to push yourself against the highest level, and to do that right early in the season to see that and not imagine us going on the road to New York, you probably see something very similar. So. I don't know. That's going to be my next question. Is so. Let's just go ahead and talk about New York City FC two in this this test. What are you What are you expecting from the club's first ever away MLS Next Pro game? 
and it, no different than what I look. The league is tough. The league has a lot of parity, um, and we expect it to be very difficult. And lastly, today's game was the was women and girls in sports night. So, love to hear um, any any woman in your life that impacted you the most in, in your development in soccer, and if there's anything you can can kind of share with us. Well, I mean, I always say my mom, right? Because my look, <laughs> I started playing soccer in about. 1972, you know, there was, NSL was in and about, there were really no coaches, and um, we moved from, you would, we moved from out by the airport in East Point over to, uh, to the cab off of Flat Shoals and Snap, Snap Finger, YMCA, so I got my, I got my, so my mom actually, we played in elementary school, and so my mom and a friend, if they wouldn't have coached, right, we didn't have a team. And so my mom was the coach who knew nothing about soccer. But I just knew that as soon as I kicked the ball, right, I was in love right away. And it hasn't changed. It's only gotten stronger for the game. And without her sacrificing that, and I, you know, what, what would have happened? Because the reality is, like, for me, I, I tell this story all the time, I was going to play American football. But I was a little guy, so I didn't weigh enough. And that time I had the weight requirements. And the next day I went up to the sign and play soccer. I'd never seen a soccer ball in my life. And my mom says, I'll, I will coach your team, me and my friend. And I'm still sitting involved today.